One of the common themes that I see from Tommy DeVito's game is pocket management skill. Ability to identify pressure, wait until he absolutely needs to avoid the pressure, and make efficient movements so that he can buy time and space in the pocket. And if he needs to break the pocket, he has enough quickness to do so. You can see here, this is a nice combination of movements here for him to gain 10 yards on this first and 10 play. Watch the interior pressure. You got two points of pressure coming from the left side. Finishes his drop, feels the defender right here. And he makes a nice slide at the top of his drop, keeps his feet under him. And then when he feels the pressure again inside from the right, he can reduce the shoulder, accelerate upfield, get himself 10 yards. Let's take a look at it one more time from this angle. Quick and precise feet. Opens himself up a lane right here as he slides outside, hoping to find a passing lane. Reduces the shoulder, gets downhill. DeVito also has a knack of waiting until the last possible moment to bait the defender towards him when it comes to pressure and then getting away. That's a skill that top managers have at the quarterback position when it comes to managing pressure. You can see it right here. Defender comes off the edge here on this design sprint to the right. He waits till the defender is about two, three steps away and then makes that move. And really, he really doesn't begin moving his feet until the defender is about a step or two away. Like most NFL quarterbacks, you get a chance to play. He knows pre-snap where the cushion is. And you're going to see him motion Jalen Hyatt to the right. You see the cushion by the defender here relative to the cornerbacks on the left side who are playing tight to their receivers. And they motion Hyatt out and immediately throws at the top of the stem early break get that ball out get the quick eight yards let's watch it one more time here and if you want to get technical about it he understands that the safety is going to invert to this right side as the other one's rotating up to the top and single high that means that the inverted safety is going to take on the tight end this cornerback who's playing a deeper cushion on Hyatt is going to be vulnerable to the out. DeVito has that motion and knows where he's going with the ball. This is my favorite read from Tommy DeVito so far in this game. It's a flea flicker. You're going to see it um, be a flea flicker with a back shoulder fade to Wandale Robinson, who makes the catch. 25 yards, first down. Third, late third quarter, early fourth quarter. Now, what I like about this is you have a single high safety up here as they begin the play. But DeVito does a good job of understanding as he takes the ball that he has a defensive back who's playing outside and a safety playing inside over the top on the slot receiver. He understands that if he throws this to Wandale Robinson, he can't lead him downfield because this defensive back can peel off pretty easily and intercept this pass. So his awareness of the ancillary coverage is very good here. And so what he does is he turns this into a back shoulder because the defender who's on Wandale Robinson, the cornerback, is playing low to this defender's high. And so he's comfortable in this position right here. But still, look at what Robinson does. Makes the stop, turns back, well-placed ball. They're on the same page together. And a lot of it has to do with Tommy DeVito understanding that this cornerback is playing kind of a, in between these two receivers and could peel off. And so he anticipates that ancillary coverage and places it where that coverage isn't. This is a pretty good throw on the move by DeVito. He's going to look to his left here, see that his receivers are well covered on this two-man route combination on third and seven feels the edge pressure getting a little bit high there looks back to the middle sees that's well covered with the two defenders in the middle of the field and then rolls to his right now he has the one-on-one -on -one with Hodgins and look at this decision right here he sees Hodgins turning and he knows that Hodgins is turning and going to run towards that boundary and within four steps gets that ball out leads Hodgins high and above the defender placed right on the body 
Good placement there. Gives Hodges a chance to plant and drag the foot. Watch it one more time. High, plant, drag. Nice work. Look at it from this angle. Well placed. Good processing information here by Tommy DeVito. You're going to have single high safety, man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to have three receivers working out here from the backfield. you got Barkley. You've got Wandell Robinson here, and I believe that's Darian is Slayton. I haven't seen the number real quick. But what he does a good job of is understanding who his open man's likely to be with this three-man route combination. Because with one safety high, you know the safety's going to take the deep man most likely, and that's Slayton right here. You also know that Barkley's working to the flat, and it's second and one. You're going to have that linebacker coming hot to the flat there. But you also have basically your nickel corner right here against Wandale Robinson. Robinson runs a nice route, dipping the route inside, bending it inside, and then making that nice cut when he gets into the toes of the defender to get back outside. DeVito recognizes it right here at the top of his drop. And very little hesitation. Gets the ball out. Leads Robinson to the outside. 32-yard gain. Let's look at it from his point of view. There's your high safety. Gives that look to the outside as if he's looking at deep to Slayton. And then he sees that this is going to be wide open. Gets it out. Right on that front shoulder. This is the type of play you want to see all prospects display who are going to play in the NFL, and that's the ability to find the honey hole in cover two. And you see this right here to Jalen Hyatt against the Patriots defense. Watch DeVito here with the two high safeties. Look to his right. Keep that to the right. Keep the defender from coming over too far to the boundary just yet. And then at the top of his drop, letting that ball loose. And lofting it right over the top and right on the numbers. When he throws to these boundaries, he does a really nice job of getting the ball, you know, really at the numbers or at one of the shoulders without too much effort. Nicely done. I like the placement by Tommy DeVito on this touchdown pass. You're going to see you have two receivers running in breaking routes on the outs outside and in the middle of this trip set. And he takes the backside man because there's the off coverage playing that cushion. But look at the placement. The placement's to the sideline shoulder. And that signals to Hudgens that he knows he can turn outside. He can obey the ball and transition to the outside as this defender comes downhill from a cushioned spot to try and cut it off to the inside shoulder. And when you do that and you place it to the outside shoulder, look at all that room that's there. That's all on Tommy DeVito. That's nice placement because receivers understand that one of the rules of receiving is that you want to catch and pierce. The minute you catch the ball, turn up field. Well, which direction do you turn when you're facing the quarterback? You obey the placement of the ball. So the ball's got to be placed where you want the receiver to turn. And DeVito does that very well on this play. So you can see that he and Hodgins are in sync here on this play. I love the fact that you got this, you know, two, two in-breaking routes, pretty much at similar depths. And he takes the one with the most cushion and leads the, gives that defender the opportunity to take advantage of that cushion. Excuse me, the receiver the opportunity to take advantage of that cushion. Let's look at it from this point of view and just see the placement. Outside shoulder, all that room. You can see the strengths and weaknesses of Tommy DeVito's game really wrapped into this one play. This is a 41-yard gain on 3rd and 16, and it's a great display of pocket management. You've got the edges pushing up on either side. Good climb, reset, and immediately fires a ball. That's something you'd see from guys like Drew Brees, Tom Brady, all the really top pocket players. Very efficient movement and put himself in a position to throw that ball to high it downfield. Now, here's the issue doesn't have the greatest arm. So when he throws this ball, see how Hyatt has to wait on it? Fortunately, Hyatt had, let's see, how many steps? Oh, about three steps on this defender to wait on it. It's a good throw, not a great throw. You know, it's one of those plays where, and if he led him too far, the safety's probably in a position here. Well, maybe not. 
He needed to throw it a little bit ahead of Hyatt if he could. It doesn't really have the arm to drive the ball. So, you know, you're looking at him more in that Rich Gannon type of player. You know, the former MVP with the Raiders who really, th you know, if you can get him to throw the ball 35 to 40 yards, that's really the range of his vertical game. But he's a quick decision maker and mobile in the pocket. And that's a heck of a play, even if the arm strength isn't, you know, the arm strength is the lack of arm strength is probably why he wasn't on a lot of radars in the first place. But that's good enough.